So now that the uh, hardware is all done, I'm going to pretty much uh, update all the units. Uh, that's basically, I'm going to do both all the Lowrance units and the Garmin unit. And then, then what I'm going to do is I'm then going to take and start doing a configuration. And that way, uh, he, he basically wants a couple strange uh, different things for the console. And I'll set up the, uh, the bow because he didn't understand that he actually had uh, down imaging with that built-in transducer. So we'll put put that as one of the base screens. So I'll, I'll show you a little bit about what I'm doing, but uh, I won't bore you with all the details. There's an update that just came out for the live units. So he's got two lives on the console here. I'm gonna take and do an update on those. The other thing is he's got the transducer mounted on the stern here using one of the standard uh, uh, surface mount pieces for it. Well, the thing is, is the cable comes out of the stern. So because the cable comes out of the stern, what happens is that uh, your transducer itself, the side imaging needs to be flipped. So I'm gonna do a flip on that. So I'm gonna basically do some configuration. If there's anything that I find that I really need to fix, I will let him know before I fix it. Uh, we do need to add another point one at some point to the bow. He's got one on the stern here that came from Ranger. You can see it right here. Okay, uh, that's essentially a point one, even though it says Ranger on it. It's a special made. It goes into this ride system here. So, so we'll be we'll be basically doing a lot of cleanup, doing a lot of configuration. Okay, here it is. Uh, we're updating it right now. I'm also uh, checking the ride system. I don't know if you can see that. It might not be that easy to see. Uh, make sure we're seeing our devices. We see the uh, the left unit on the console here. Uh, they named it Helm uh, Helm uh, Starboard and Helm Port. So we will uh, we'll take care of that. Uh, we'll leave, we'll leave the naming convention alone. Uh, that's okay for them. So anyway, this is the live getting updated. This one's already updated, and the way to check that is just hit the pages, hit the settings button right here, okay, scroll that up to about, and you can see we're at 23.3, uh, which is what we should be, okay? So if we check support, just check system for updates, you can see we have an update for vessel view link we need to locate, but everything else looks like it's all up to date, okay? This is called Helm Port. And so this should be Helm uh, Starboard, okay? So the live is uh, now updated. That's ready to go. Uh, da -da -da -da. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up and verify our update rev about, you can see we're at 23.3, so that looks pretty good. So we're good there. You notice that when the update comes up, it automatically stops the, so the uh, sonar. So all it's very, very simple. You just touch this panel, make sure you have an orange outline there. Tap, tap the menu, go down to more options, okay? See where it says stop sonar here? All we wanna do is just touch that, and now our sonar is rolling again. You can see this, see the line now start, starting to come across the side there, okay? So we're going to do a back on that. Our range is automatic 15, which is perfect. The source is coming from the bow. You can see it says this is the bow unit. Okay, so that looks good. So that means that's coming off the trolling motor unit. Okay, so this is the 360 ready to go. Okay, and the Garmin is still in process of doing something. So it looks like the Garmin, uh, the uh, GLS 10 update is all done, ready to go. So I'll just hit the OK button and everything gets restarted. And we'll check everything in a moment. One thing the customer wanted on the Lowrance unit is that, uh, again, he didn't know that he had down imaging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a down imaging page for him if it's not already in the favorite list. So if we pop over here, what we want is we want to have the chart on the left. And then we're going to have the sonar and then the down scan. Okay, so we're just going to simply create one. Okay, so we're going to do, pull the sonar or the chart over, pull sonar over. Now I'm going to pull the down scan over. And so this is his current layout. So now I'm going to save that. So that becomes, again, you'll notice that unit 
is stop. So let's just take and unstop it because if I don't unstop it now, he'll never figure it out. So anyway, so that's done. So now we're ready to go. So what we're going to do is we are going to go over to our hot buttons. Okay, this is a new hot button. I just created a favorite. Okay, it defaults to four. We're gonna have, we just added number five. So we're gonna come down here to favorite and set it to number five. Okay, I'm gonna save that. So now if we go and hit hot button one, we got the default favorite number one. If I hit this one, you can see I'm back at the new new version there. So that's one setup item that he wanted. The other th next thing I had to do is add overlay data and get everything configured. So and it looks like the Garmin is back, so we're good to go there. So all right. Okay. Here's what we got here on the left unit. Uh, I've set up the uh, to source the side scan from the right unit. Okay. And what we got here is that it's showing the left screen only. This is what the customer wanted and on the right unit it's sourcing from this unit which is correct because it has the active target or active imaging three and one attached to it and it's showing the right only so you can see the way I did that is I went into more options I set the view to right only here and over here I've got the view set to left only so so that way it makes it uh, that way he can flip it so now what I've got if I go through and say hit my default buttons, which is these are these are his running buttons, which is uh, buttons three. So buttons three. If we go to buttons four, it'll show the side scan. Okay. And so now this is the setting for the side scan for him. Okay. So that way he can just simply once he gets to an area, he can turn the side scan option on by hitting button number four, which is this button right here. If he wants to go back to running, he just pops the third button and the third button, and he's all set. So now everything's set up, so now I can go start running again. We've got, I've got to still play around and uh, adjust the uh, screen settings over here, but over on this unit here, we've got the uh, the time, speed over ground, this depth, water temperature, voltage supply, battery voltage, okay? There is on this boat, which is a uh, Ranger 520R boat, uh, there's a live well temperature uh, sensor. Okay, so that live well sensor is actually shown up on the, the uh, ride system. I've got it on my display, so I've got, I can actually see that while I'm running. But on this one, we don't have that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this setting over here. So we're going to edit the data overlay. Okay, I'm going to change, put my speed over ground. Move the foot foot over depth over here, speed over ground in the middle. Put this up here. So now I'm going to edit that, change the size, hit configure, change it to large. Oops, large. There we go. So that's large on that one. Okay. Uh, speed over ground is good. Depth. Probably we don't need the size on that. So we'll change that to small. There's a little bit of a weird glitch that's been going on with Lawrence's data overlay. This first one is always one size smaller than everything else. You can see this one's now small, but the numbers are bigger than this. So it's actually two sizes smaller. So, and that's been there since the old days, the LMS stuff. So, okay. So now this is the way we got it all set up. So we now on this screen, we've got the time I got time on this screen the only thing I need to do is add time to the other screens and depth and things like that so but anyway that's pretty much the way this boat is set up uh, hope you uh, learned a little bit about the configuration if you got any questions on it you know please feel free in the comments uh, but I like I say uh, everything everything sh went pretty straightforward there's still a couple little minor things to do with this for example setting up the uh, power pole charge uh, and you know, and pairing par the power poles, but he, the customer really didn't care about doing that because he's got the, the key fob to do that. He's also going to work with power pole at one of the tournaments, have them basically do all the configuration for him. Uh, but he should be ready to go and ready to run on the water now. So, all right, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys watching this. Please like and subscribe the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.